Hey guys, what's up? Toga Loco here. Welcome back to the 2018 FIFA World Cup DLC for FIFA 18. And today we're going to be doing Uruguay. I fancy being another big team. Well, a fairly big team anyway. And I decided today, today we do Uruguay. I haven't actually done a run with Uruguay on my channel yet, like a proper run. So it'll be interesting to see how the 2018 version of Uruguay gets on. So as usual, we have to randomize the groups. So in three, two, one, boom. Oh no, that's not the right button, boom. There we go, and we stay in group H, but we've got Brazil, Australia, and Peru. That's not too bad of a group. Brazil might be a hard opponent, but Australia and Peru should be okay. I always forget that Uruguay w have won the World Cup. It says there, like, 1930 and 1950, so long ago. But obviously, you know, it does count. But, yeah, whenever you think of World Cup winners, Uruguay does sometimes go over my head sometimes because I always forget about it because it was so long ago. But, yeah, they've won the World Cup more times than England. All right, before we start, then, let's check out the squad for Uruguay. And right away... We all know Luis Suarez is a dangerous striker to have. 91 rated on FIFA 18. That is crazy rating there. We've got Stuani, who I have heard of before, but we're going to replace him with Cavani because I think Cavani will be a little bit more better up top. We've got Benton Core as well. I do remember him on uh, FIFA 18. I used to have one of his special cards. Um, we've got Torreira as well, um, who plays for Arsenal right now, or did he move on? I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure about these guys. Is that Nathan Nandez? Um, that one there, I'm fairly sure it is. We've got Jimenez there, we've got Martin Caceres there, and uh, uh, Diego Godin. Um, who else have we got on the bench? Uh, obviously, we've got Cavani, we've got Cates, who used to play for Liverpool. Um, anybody else that I recognise straight away? Um, not off the top of my head, unfortunately. So let's jump into our first game against Peru. Our first match then against Peru, an all South American affair here. I'm sure Uruguay and Peru have played each other many times in qualifying, so this should be an interesting game. I remember Uruguay um, playing in the 2018 World Cup and um, they beat Portugal and after they beat Portugal I was like you know what this team could be very dangerous couldn't it like that's what I was thinking and then um, I'm fairly sure they ran into like France or something like that in the quarterfinals and um, yeah no it didn't happen unfortunately um, very unlucky for Uruguay but you know one day they might get it right I mean I feel like I feel like their chance the chances at the moment are slipping away because Cavani's getting older, Suarez is getting older. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, de it depends how long they got. Will they be able to do anything in 2022? Through ball here. Suarez is going through. And he scores. Nice one. Straight away. One through ball by Cavani. And Luis Suarez taps it in to make it 1-0 to Uruguay. How about that? Simple as that. Just one through ball. And yeah, <laughs> your guy fans going crazy. Apart from the guy sat down with his arms crossed, he's clearly he's clearly not enjoying himself. And oh, it came off the goalkeeper onto the post, so it was almost a save. One nil in the sixth minute, which is what you love to see from your strikers. See, like it was pretty mad not to have Cavani already up top with Suarez. I know Cavani's like aging and everything, but he's still a good player. If you want my early prediction for this run, quarter-final, possibly. If I'm lucky, semi-final. Depends how this group stage goes. I want to see how I play against uh, Brazil, of course, because um, that will be the main test. Shouldn't underestimate this Peru side. They can still cause problems. I have used them in the past. Suarez to Cavani. Back to Suarez, back to Cavani. Looking for that opening, Suarez turns, he goes for it, oh good save by the Peru keeper, not much has happened in this first half but it doesn't need to be, I mean we're still pretty decent defensively and trying to attack as well and at half time it is 1-0 to Uruguay, here we go, Suarez to Cavani, Cavani off the post, how unlucky can you get? Through ball into the middle. That was a great through ball. It just went through everybody. And um, this guy scores. Is it for like Ficino or something like that? He scores to make it 2-0. And Uruguay are in complete control of this match now. Look at this for our 
a decent assist by Cavani through a ball and it just found the pocket of space so nicely through the legs of that defender there literally when I shot and it went straight in that was a nice goal it's crossed in it's headed just over the bar Peru have had chances but they haven't been clinical I think that is it for Peru they have lost here 2-0 to Uruguay and Uruguay get their first three points on the board. Very, very nice game for them. Strong defensively and really good attacking wise as well. I'm surprised that we didn't put a few more like chances away, but it's fine, I'll, I'll take a two nil. So who came out on top versus Brazil and Australia? It was Brazil, of course it was. Second match then is against Australia. This could still be a banana skin for Uruguay. Triple, Suarez is there and he scores. Near post and it still goes in and Luis Suarez scores again very early on to make it 1-0. One through ball and it just went near post. I didn't think that the Australian keeper would have let that in. I thought he had that covered but it was a decent through ball. Australian players calling for offside but it went straight in anyway. Luis Suarez has netted twice at this World Cup now against Australia and Peru. Very good strike. I've always rated him like... You have to understand, if you've never seen him during his days at Liverpool, just go and watch a highlight reel of him at Liverpool. He was just absolutely insane for Liverpool back in like 2013-14 sort of time. It was, it was, some of the goals he scored was just outstanding. Look at this, we're already through again and we scored again. It was just an easy tap. And uh, it's 2-0 to Uruguay. But yeah, like I said, like watch those highlights against uh, Liverpool. A lot of people will say, well, oh, he was more se successful at Barcelona because he won trophies over there and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I do agree with that. That is a measure of success, but you have to understand as well, he was a monster. My favourite goal of Luis Suarez, I know I'm rambling a little bit, but my favourite goal of Luis Suarez at Liverpool was against Newcastle where... It was against Colaccini and it was just the touch. It, like the ball was just like flying towards the Newcastle box and he touched it down when it was getting pressured by Colaccini and just like t basically taps it in. It was just like, it, it's a work of art, honestly. It was, it was a brilliant goal. Oh no, Australia go for it. Oh, just over the bar. They could have scored there. McLaren missing a, a good opportunity to get one back at least. And it is half time. And it's 2-0 to Uruguay, as expected, to be honest. I mean, you know, they are a stronger team than Australia. It's all about just stopping Australia from getting goals against us because, obviously, that will affect our morale and form and everything going into the last Brazil game. Suarez to Cavani. Ah, oh, the shot was just too weak. Good ball. Nice. Can Cavani score this? No. But it comes back out. Ah, oh, double save by the Australian keeper. Into the middle here, Cavani, yeah, that's free, nice one, it had to, it was coming, wasn't it, and Cavani finishes off Australia in style, that was a really nice goal, through ball here, and then I just passed it into the box, just did the shot, and it just trickled into the back of the net, lovely stuff from Uruguay, and Cavani to get his first goal of this World Cup campaign, and that's it. Uruguay have taken this one 3-0 and they are through to the next round. So what happened between Brazil and Peru in that man? Oh, it was a 3-0 victory for uh, Brazil. So that means that the group is pretty clear cut. Third and final match of this group is between the two front runners of the group. It's going to be hard to break down Brazil properly. And it's going to be hard to defend against them as well. Because Coutinho back out but it's intercepted not quite though Fernandinho just shrugged me off like I was nothing he goes down in the box and there's no penalty thank you I think that was Neymar that went down so I was expecting a penalty through ball yes go on Suarez go on oh good save by Alisson to Suarez oh cut out again Brazil are just watertight at the back just will not let me pass and it might be half time before I can make another attack over the top. Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Oh, what a save by Allison! And it just came back out. Oh, my God. I could have scored. That was such a good move. And at half time, it's nil nil. But Uruguay have probably had the better chances going into the second half. No. Oh, we just let them walk through our defence. But it's offside. I saw the camera pan away. And, of course, the flag is up. 
Uh, that was really poor defending, but at the same time, it was good because it was a sort of offside goal. Good ball by Suarez, and again, another squandered opportunity. Allison saves. Oh my god, that's a hell of a ball. Cavani, Suarez is there as well. Can we do it? I think we have. Yes! Come on! In the 70th minute, Suarez scores from a complete, I guess, error from Brazil in the midfield area. And the fact that the through ball caught them completely off guard. They were pushed too far forward. And Cavani was able to charge through and just bait Alisson out. And then, obviously, the tap to Suarez. It's 1-0 to Uruguay, and you can't say that this hasn't been deserved because we have had chances. Come on, we got to stop Brazil. Please, can we stop? Nope, you can't stop Brazil. They just instantly equalised. Oh, my God. And Fernandinho scored. How did we let that happen? Straight away from the kickoff, they just did a couple of passes and shot and went top corner. It's so annoying because like, you think you're about to beat Brazil and then they do something like this. It's just too good. Uh, you, there's nothing you can do to stop that. Like The defenders weren't even facing him for a start. But yeah, okay, well it's 1-1. Decent game so far. Into the middle. Down here to Suarez. Go on, Suarez. Yes, he scored again. That was such a good movement. And again, on the break from the mistake that um, Brazil made out on the wing. We caught him off guard and Suarez scores. Can we please keep it this way now? 2-1. Come on, can we get a third? That would be amazing if we can. Just keep going. Just use all that stamina to try and get the ball into the box. It's crossed in, Alisson has got it. And I think, yes we have, we won against Brazil with Uruguay. That is a fantastic result. I've never really beaten Brazil on this game like that before. That is a great result. Our rival, we bettered them 2-1 and it was thanks to Luis Suarez. Alright then, let's check out the knockout stages then. So, on the left hand side we've got Egypt beating South Korea 4-3 on penalties. We've got Portugal eliminating France 2-1. Italy beating England 1-0. Brazil squeezing by Colombia on penalties 5-4. Then on the right hand side you've got Belgium beating Poland 3-1, we've got Wales beating Switzerland 5-4 on penalties, we've got Argentina versus Croatia and Uruguay versus Austria. So you have to think, possibly, that we could get to the quarterfinals at least. Can't underestimate a side like Austria, they do still have decent players. We've got like Sabitza in uh, midfield, we've got uh, Anatovic up top who could be very dangerous. Oh, that was close from Austria. Good play into the box. No. Oh, they just scored. Like, how was I supposed to defend against that? I was like, yeah, I've got this. And then they just randomly scored. Okay, well, Austria have taken a surprise lead. It's shot, or however you say it. Into the middle here. Suarez, go on. You've got to score this dude. Oh, my God. How did you not score that? It was an open opportunity. Our oh, defending is just not good enough, man. What is going on here against Austria? We can't be bottling this, surely. We got here with really great football, and now we're just really not doing a lot. Here we go, this is great football. Into the box here, and yep, Suarez scores. Nice one, that was great football, and we're back level. Nice one. It took us a while, but there we go. Another goal for Suarez. In this World Cup, he's been on fire. This play was just so nice. Into the box here and just tapped in. If I missed that one, then I would have probably said it would have been game over already. Luis Suarez is going to skip past his defender, is he? Yes, he is. Nice one. It's 2-1. And Suarez is just so good at this World Cup, isn't he? He just keeps scoring. Just keeps constantly scoring. And it's 2-1. Why are the fans at the bottom just looking so miserable? Like, if you didn't want to be at this World Cup, then just don't pay for the tickets. <laughs> just, they're just standing there, well, sat there, frozen. Austria, free kick, just on the outskirts of my box. And out of it, just going to chip it in, perhaps? Yes, he has. And it's defended pretty decently. But we're still not out of the woods. And, oh, <laughs> he hit the post. I was wondering what was going on there, but I think it was offside. Go on, Benton core, yes. Oh, um, wait, no? How did you miss that? I thought I scored. Damn it. Oh, how close was this? Oh, uh, fairly close. 
I'd love to actually like score third in this one. Yes, we did. Nice. My wishes were granted and that was Godin, the captain, that scored that one. That was a great header. Nice one. We finished off Austria and we're going to the quarterfinals. It was a slightly tough match, especially at the start. But Uruguay showed character to get back into the game. And of course, they got the quality. Surely you'd have thought that I wouldn't have lost against Austria in this one. But yeah, what a fantastic header that was. Over the top of literally everybody, including, I think, Alaba as well. And yeah, unfortunate for Austria. They're going out. And that's it. We're going to the quarterfinals in this one. We just beat in Austria 3-1. Unfortunate for them. But Uruguay march on. And um, Suarez has been so good in this one. He's been the one that's been scoring most of the goals. And um, if we can win this World Cup, it'll be down to him. So what happened in the other matches? Argentina beat Croatia 3-1. We also beat Austria, of course. Uh, Portugal squeezed by Egypt 2-1. Brazil beat Italy 3-1 as well. Can Uruguay undo another... South American rival. Can they beat them here today? A place in the semi-finals awaits either one of these two. Um, hopefully Argentina don't send me home, but um, I have struggled recently against Argentina. Sometimes I can beat them, sometimes I can't. They're a bit of a funny team. Over the top, oh, Suarez is in behind. Is that going to be a chance for Luis Suarez? Oh, saved by the keeper. The, the ball over the top was just genius. Only five minutes to go to half time. And um, done so pretty well so far to contain Argentina. Not a lot of highlights, but there probably wasn't going to be. That's going to be half time, I think. Unless I can get a chance off here. Suarez! Oh, so close! <laughs> it gave me a bit more extra time, but look at that. Oh, I didn't really show it. Oh, it's a corner. Okay, fair enough. Torreira to cross it in. Header wasn't net. Go for the strike. Oh my god, I thought that went in. And it is finally half time with a score at 0 0 between Argentina and Uruguay. Over the top. Oh, that's a beautiful ball to Suarez. Yes! Come on! 1 0. Finally! Finally, one of those chances go in and Suarez scores yet again. And it's 1 0 against Argentina. Despite all the pressure that was against us. In the first half, that over the top ball there, and it took him ages to shoot, but when he did, he finally puts it away. It's Cavani. Go on, go for the strike. Oh, that was actually pretty close, to be honest. No, oh, good save, but oh, thankfully it was offside because it rebounded to another Argentine player, and I was like, no, they're going to tap it in, but thankfully they didn't. No. No, that randomly bounced to Argentina. That's so BS. That is so BS. It just randomly bounced to him. And Bigler scores to make it 1-1. Straight on the 90th minute mark. Are you kidding me? Like, Argentina didn't have many good chances in that second half. And yet, they just got that lucky bounce. Look at that. It bounced to him. He headed it. And, um, yeah, by the time I dragged the defender over, it was pretty much a goal. Well... <laughs> It's full time and we're going to extra time in this one. No, this is good play. And that was close. Ah, oh, from Lionel Messi. Oh, he's going to catch me up, isn't he? That's the thing. Cavani. Oh, just over the bar. Keep that kind of shot down, please. Into the box. Into the middle here. You've got to shoot. Yes. Come on. Just before half time and extra time. Suarez scores again. And it's 2-1 to Uruguay. Come on. This is so good from Uruguay. The play and everything like that. The play in the box there. Just turn around and just pass it in there like that. I mean, these sweat goals, are, they're quite overpowered to be honest. But at the same time, I don't care. I'm winning. Rojo. Oh my God. Rojo almost equalised. Into the box. It's blocked. Come on. Boot it away. Just boot it away. It doesn't matter. Get in front of that Cavani. Yes. Come on. This could be it. This could be it. Into the middle. Suarez. Yes. That is it. Goodbye, Argentina. Goodbye. And that is 3-1 to Uruguay. We're going to the semi-final. That was such a good counter-attack. They were all over me. And then the... The kick away, well, the clearance even, um, Cavani got there somehow and I was able just to get into a position with Suarez to score. Luis Suarez has scored a hat-trick against Argentina 
in a World Cup quarterfinal. How about that? He's got to go down as a Uruguayan legend right now. I mean, I think he's got 10 goals at this World Cup now. Absolutely on fire. Right, who got through between Belgium and Wales then? That is the big question. Oh, 4-1 to Belgium. Okay, Portugal have gone to the final. So I've got to play Belgium now. And yes, I was right. 10 goals for Luis Suarez in this World Cup. That is madness. Here we go then. Semi-final time against Belgium. Um, probably another tough opponent. Well, we all know Belgium are tough. They were really good in 2018. Uh, definitely golden generation status. Cavani out on the wing. Turn. Crossed in. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. Thank you, Cavani. Thank you so much. And Suarez scores again. That is 11th goal of the tournament. How about that? Look at this. What a play by Cavani. And what a header. Court Courtois off guard. And it's 1-0 already. It's been a good run. A really good run. It's gone a stage further than I predicted for Uruguay. Especially the teams we faced as well. Argentina, Brazil and now Belgium. Um, definitely not an easy run. Especially on this game. This game it's hard in a way because you play harder teams. There's no minnow. There's only one minnow and that'll be New Zealand I'd say. All the rest of them are fairly challenging teams. And oh, it's gone in. Oh, nice one. Nice one. That is absolutely crazy how that deflection took that in. We have to watch that again. Benton Cole gets his first goal. Belgium can't believe it. Look at this. Off the head of the defender. I think it was for Tongan or for Marlin. One of those two. And that is unfortunate for Belgium. Yeah, it's an own goal. It's for Tongan with the own goal. And well... I mean, we've got a 2-0 lead already. Crossed in by Belgium, headed away. We've been, we've been so strong defensively in this whole gameplay. Only conceding a handful of goals. It's 2-0 so far to Uruguay. One foot in the door for the World Cup final. They haven't been there since 1950. Such a long time ago. That's about 72 years um, to this date anyway. But in 2018, obviously... Um, it was 68 years. <laughs> Such a long time. Into the middle. Oh, off the post. That was so unlucky from um, number six there. Oh, my God. I crossed it in and nobody was there. But, oh, it was offside. Oh, my God. Benton Core just scored from there. I just randomly shot and it just went straight in. I did not expect that at all. And, um, yeah, this has been an absolute thrashing. One through ball here. And I was just like, yeah, I'll try it from this corner. It just went in anyway. How did Courtois not save that? 3-0. It's been too easy, I think. I think Uruguay are at the level where they're just kind of unplayable. Maybe it's just a team that I get on with quite well because they're quite pacey up front and pretty decent defensive-wise. And that's it. We're into the World Cup final with Uruguay for the first time since 1950. This team has been this far and they deserve it. Especially with Luis Suarez scoring like, what, 12 goals or whatever. It's just incredible. I'm, I can't believe we didn't score more against Belgium. They were really bad. I mean, it would have been 2-0 if it hadn't been for the deflection. So we get into the final and Brazil... Oh, Belgium won 4-3 on penalties. Okay, well, they picked up their performance and won the third place playoff. Luis Suarez has got 11 goals. 11. That is incredible. Huge opportunity for both of these teams to win the World Cup. Of course, Uruguay haven't won it since 1950. Portugal haven't even won it at all. So it's going to be Ronaldo versus Suarez in this one. And I cannot wait. I just hope I don't blow my opportunity to win it. Because it's a very good opportunity to win it. We've had a really good run. And um, so Portugal, to be fair, they beat France. And then they beat Egypt. And yeah, I mean, it's going to be a very entertaining final. Semedo. Oh my god, he's just gone through two players. There we go. Oh, that was close. It's a corner to Portugal now. Just don't let Ronaldo head this in. It's before half time. I can't be doing with that. You cross it in. Header! And it's gone in! They scored a back header! And it's Ronaldo! Of course it is! Of course it is! 1 0 to Portugal in the final. I tried to stop it, but he back headed it. He back headed it, and oh my god. Are you kidding me? 
I did not want that to happen and it still happened. Very frustrating. Look at that. Just backheaded it. Just like, what are you supposed to do on that situation when it's Ronaldo with the ball there? Cavani. Oh, yes, it's a foul. Nice. Come on. That's got to be a yellow. Yeah, thank you. So the player off to Edison. Cavani is blocked as usual on this game. Block City. Why did that? Where was that going, man? Honestly. To Suarez. Yes! Come on, that's 1-1. One, one. We're back in this final, and that's another goal for Suarez. Nice one to get in behind and just strike that quickly. Oh, so hard to tackle a player like Ronaldo. How did everybody let that go right through? What kind of defending was that? And we let Bernardo Silva score. God damn it. Oh, I don't like him in real life. I really don't. He's just such a crybaby, honestly. We are running out of time here. For Uruguay, so irritating the fact that the just one defensive mistake has just let us concede that goal, and it could be the winning goal for Portugal. Most of the time, it's really annoying. You can't tackle Ronaldo, and I've given away a free kick on the edge of the box. That's probably game over now. So annoying, man. Like, g g give me a player that can actually clear it off the line. Ronaldo or off the wall. Header. Oh my goodness, man. What is going on? Oh, another corner for Portugal. This is not good. Into the middle. It's Suarez. Oh, my God. He scored 12 goals and he's put that wide. Oh, we deserve to lose because of that. I cannot believe he put that wide. That is a huge mistake. That could have been it. That could have been it. How did he put that wide? I'm not even joking. I thought that was 100% certified. And yet still, we messed it up. Cavani. Go on. Yes. Come on. 2-2. Two, two. Oh my god. My energy is getting drained in this match. 2-2. Two, two. At least Cavani scored. That was so lucky to get the ball back in that situation. And oh my god. Just quickly turn and shoot. And it went top corner. Uh didn't tackle him there for some reason. Ronaldo still got it. Oh, good save. He just got slid out from behind. Ref! Like, are you not going to give him a yellow or a red for that? Come on, this game is just really acting up. It really wants Portugal to win this. We're going to extra time. Since there is a goal in this extra time period, but for who? Who will it be for? I'm hoping it's for me. Here we go. This is a good opportunity. Go on, Bentoncourt. Yes, it's 3-2. I told you there was a goal. I told you. And that is 3-2. Can we hold on just for 19 more minutes? And then we've got this in the bag. This is a hell of a final. <laughs> I thought I was done and dusted after that Suarez miss. Still a very even game at half time and extra time. Can we just hold on for a little bit more? Semedo, he crosses it in. It's headed. Oh, they scored. For Christ's sake. Really? And I think that's Pepe that scored that. It looks like it. Oh, my God. It's 3-3 in the World Cup final. At least it's been a historic final. But still, that, that ball, when it came in, I was like, yeah, you know, I've got that 100%. Pepe's like, no. Look, he like, glitched over my player and like knocked him over. Look at that. Diving header, like a little, like, I don't know. It looked like Robin Van Persie's header against Spain, but yeah, okay, Pepe scores and it's 3-3. This could be a big moment. That tackle, yes! Benton Court makes it 4-3. It's 4-3. Oh my God. That takeaway by Suarez was so crucial, or whoever it was that took it away. Oh, that tackle. That could be the stuff of dreams. 4-3 in a World Cup final. There's still seven minutes to play. Yeah, who was that that took it away? Was it Suarez? It didn't look like it was. Um, no, it was Benton Cole that took it away. Then Suarez passed it back to him. I can't believe I dispossessed him as easily as that, especially on the highest difficulty in the game. Surely you'd have think that Portugal would have just cleared it away or something like that. It has to be over, surely. There's only a minute to go. There's only a minute. Head this out. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. Uruguay have won the World Cup again. Crazy finish. 
to an amazing gameplay. I can't believe that I pushed Uruguay this far. They are a really good team. They suit my playstyle so much. They're fast um, up front. They've got great strikers, of course, with Luis Suarez and Cavani. Suarez got about 13 goals in this campaign. Incredible from Uruguay to get the World Cup back to South America, but this time it's back in Uruguay. We beat some big teams in this one as well. It wasn't easy, and um, yeah, this final was definitely the hardest game. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave you with the normal commentary of the game. If you did enjoy this one, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video. For the world! There's a real togetherness amongst those players, and they've needed it at times. They've came through some sticky periods in this competition, but it was all worth it, wasn't it? Sharing it with the supporters, they will not want this day to end. But they will get some souvenirs of it now as the photographers gather for these prime pictures of the winners of the FIFA World Cup 2018.